protect you. And I believe we're developing tools within the Constitution to do so. Some people in this country want to get rid of them, and they're wrong. They're wrong. You can't expect me and people in this government to do what we need to do to protect you and your family if we don't have the tools that we think are well, necessary to point. do so. And you said within the law, and, yeah. and yet you admitted that there were these CIA secret facilities. Okay. So what? Why is that not within the law? The head of Amnesty International says secret sites are against international law. Well, we just agree, disagree with him. And plus, my job is to protect you. And most American people, if I said that we had the, who we think is the mastermind of the 9-11, they would say, why don't you see if you can't get information out of him without torturing him, which is what we did. Were, were you made personal? My job is to protect this country, Matt. And uh, I'm going to within the law. These and it gets second-guessed all the time by people who don't live in the United States. But let me remind you, September the 11th for them was a bad day. For us, it was a change of attitude. These, these alternative methods you talked about in terms of extracting information from these suspected terrorists, were you made personally aware of all of the techniques that were used, for example, against a Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? And did you approve all of those techniques? I, I, I told our people, get information without torture and was assured by our Justice Department that we were not torturing. It's been reported that with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, he was what they call waterboarded. I'm not going to talk about techniques that we use on people. One reason why is because we don't want the enemy to adjust. The American people need to know we're using techniques within the law to protect them. You said to me, you said to me, how can we be assured you're doing everything it takes to protect the American people? And I'm saying to you, we're listening to al-Qaeda if they're calling in this country, and some people want to get rid of that program. We had walls that did not allow criminal investigators and intelligence forces to talk to each other. We've eliminated the laws. Let me finish. And, but one of the, the best source, according to those who are on the front lines of protecting the American people, is when we pick up somebody off of a battlefield, that we interrogate them within the law to get data. And I would strongly urge people to look at that speech I gave because I declassified classified information to show how important the information we got from whom we think is the mastermind of the September the 11th attacks. I don't want to let this within the law issue slip though. I mean, if, if in fact there was waterboarding used with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, and for the viewers, that's basically you strap someone to a board and you make them feel as if they're going to drown. You put them underwater. If that was legal and within the law, why couldn't you do it at Guantanamo? Why'd you have to go to a secret location around Matt, the world? I'm not going to talk about techniques. And I'm not going to explain to the enemy what we're doing. All I'm telling you is that you've asked me whether or not we're doing things to protect the American people, and I want the American people to know we are doing so. At some point, Mr. President, if, if techniques, these alternate, alternative Matt, techniques are used, I'm not going to ask you to specifically okay. say about them, but if they are used, are you at all concerned that at some point, even if you get results, there's a blurring the lines of between ourselves and the people we're trying to protect us against? Uh, Matt, I'm just telling you, what this government has done is to, is to take steps necessary to protect you and your family. You asked me about your family, and you represent a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. And the best information we can get is from people we take off the battlefield so we can act on it, so we can stop plots before they happen. And whatever we have done is legal. That's what I'm saying. It's in the law. We had lawyers look at it and say, Mr. President, this is lawful. That's all I can tell you. I'm not going to tell you uh, specifically what's done because I don't want the enemy to adjust. This, we're at war. This is people that want to come and kill your families. And the best way to protect you is to get information. And I'm confident the American people understand why we've done that. You see, we've acted on information they've given us to prevent attacks. And um, these are real. This, this isn't make-believe. These are attacks that were coming to hurt the American people again. That was the president this Friday in the Oval Office. And by the way, President.